Equestria Daily finds, collects, and features the best fan-made pony content, making it easier for you to find. Visit us to find art, pony news, video games, music, PMVs, plushies, animation, interviews, episode follow-ups, Trixie, fanfiction, cosplay, merchandise, propaganda, polls, editorials. Visit EquestriaDaily.com today. And been with some Ultramag64 here, and today, guys, it is time for yet another fantastic episode of a My Little Pony game from Gameloft. And I think this is the first time I've run into a bug in quite a while. The UI is gone. I I don't know how. I loaded up the game, but like I, I took my eyes off it for five seconds, which apparently was a fatal mistake on my part. But I was like, ah, oh, cool, I'll go get a drink, it'll be fine. We'll be we'll we'll have like popcorn and chips and whatnot and soda, and it'll be just a grand Fabulous time. And then Game Loft Game just decides, hey, I'm gonna drop this on you and it's gonna be great. So I'm gonna restart the game, but I thought I'd capture this just for prosper prosperity. Prosperity? Pros prosperity? I feel like that's, that's the word you were looking for, not whatever I just said. But you know, that's just me. Hi, Hulu, how are you? Why are you sending me emails? Uh, but anyway, I mean, right now things are working, so I mean, I can't, like, not do, do this, I guess. Oh, oh, one thing I found that was interesting was the game seems to actually run better without the UI. Go figure! I mean, it's, it's not like the UI is important or essential to gameplay. <laughs> Please. Only, only the filthiest of filthy casuals use the UI. <laughs> I can pwn without UI, for the most part. Yeah, look, look how fast this loads. Like, look at this. We're just like, we're good. We're, we're good. It's, it's just going. I actually don't know if that's actually faster. It seems faster to me, but it's probably not. But just saying, it's, it's kind of funny. That uh, the game at least seems to run a lot better. <laughs> I can't even tell if I'm doing quests anymore. I'm just kind of going. <laughs> See, this has been my life for like a bit. Because I thought, you know, oh, it'll come back when I go to another screen. Nope. Just, just kind of doesn't ever come back. And I'm hoping it's not like a permanent thing. It's probably not. I probably just have to reload the game. But I'm a little bit lazy right now, and I'm kind of just doing stuff that doesn't really need the UI anyway. So, I mean, yeah. But anyway, so the Changeling story finished up. Unfortunately, um, I don't seem to have any other special story, so I'm not- Hey, the UI's back! I knew I could fix it. Look at me. I did it. I am the greatest. It wasn't- broken it was just hiding from me because i am obscenely ugly anyway so let me go ahead and grab us all our junk and now that i can see what i'm doing what the heck is this thing i don't even know oh hey i could buy this for 60 percent off he doesn't even give me a price i'm good not doing that what's this 8.99 for glimmy glam oh man it's not like i've got enough glim glams already clogging up my Equestria with equality. Nah, I'm, I think I'm good. I think I'm. I think I'm good. Although, side note, game loft. Um, you do realize that if you had like, oh, I missed Derpy. I meant to click on Derpy, and I guess I clicked on that instead. But like game loft, you know that um, you know that that like Reaper Luna element of, or like ghost of christmas future doodad that uh you know the, the fandom really likes that character um if she's not in the game why because you could make probably some pretty good moolah with that i'm giving them ideas i really should stop that anyway so um unfortunately i didn't complete it didn't didn't do it but I don't, oh, and half the UI is gone again, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. 
Anyway, I'm, I'm just gonna go with the UI is just doing its own thing. But, uh, anyway, um, one thing I did want to bring up was, um, for some reason, I believe this is for compensation of, um, the whole issue of, uh, you know, shops being broken and Gameloft breaking shops. And I believe that, uh, Gameloft decided, hey, you know what, we're gonna give y'all some gems. And so I got more gems now. I've got, like, almost 300 gems. I have no, no idea what I'm spending them on, but I have them. They're mine now. Oh, that's right, I need to do you. Uh, you're gonna break my game again, no. Stop, oh, well, it's too late. It was fun while it lasted, kids. I guess I'm just gonna have to spend the gems because I can't, I, I can't access my friends list anymore. So, uh, well, I guess that's a bug. So I guess I have run into a bug, like, more than not recently. Well, Dimidarn! And now my ta- Oh, there it is. I was like, and now my tablet's acting up. <laughs> well, that's great. Because unfortunately, like, this, this game save is tied to this tablet, and, uh, if the tablet, like, explodes or something like that, not gonna be good? Which is also not kind of- not funny, because, uh, these tablets actually do have a history of exploding. The batteries, not the- not the tablets themselves. The, the batteries actually do have a history of exploding. But, um, yeah, it's fine. Wait, do I have two Apple Oh, no, up there. I just- I was looking at the capture footage, and Fluttershy is a little bit, like, more orangey on that, because my, uh, monitor's accounting for, uh, it being night. I'm just gonna skip this. But, um... And so she looked, she looked like Applejack, and I was like, what in the world? It's working, the power of the crystal heart is locking in my oh, way. Okay. Oh, no, stop. Oh, Sombra, you poor, underutilized, glorious, like, design choice. Ah, oh, cool, I can, like, get a... That. Why do we want Sombra here? Like, dude doesn't need to be here. I'm gonna put him, like, right in the residential district. I'm gonna do that. That sounds like a good plan. Okay, um, but for starters, I need to kind of, uh... Oh, wait, I've got, I've got room. Never mind. Hey, you horses, get out of the way. Um, I'm, a friend's coming to town. Totally not evil. Totally, totally not evil. Oops. Let me just put that back there. Okie dokie. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, darn, I was hoping I could, like, get away with not having to do move things. But that didn't happen! Okay, um, let's move, no, get out of here. Move, move, thank you. Uh, you know what, just sell it. I don't need it. I don't need it in my life. Okay, you, though, I want to move somewhere not here. So, could you please get the heck out? Sure, right there. That actually looks good. You look you look like you were made for that place. Okay, um, and then, let's see, we probably want to make this place a little bit bigger for his housey wousey mousey, and then, uh, put that there, and I think I'm just gonna splurge, oh gosh, that's nine gems, I'm not doing that. Oh, wait, that's an hour, I can do that. Okay. So I guess that completes, yep, that's done with the Crystal Empire, so that storyline's taken care of. Uh, what else is there? Oh, hey, there's Granny, uh, not Granny Smith, the Apple House place. The place with the apples! Buy some apples! I don't want to buy apples. Apples are actually quite delicious. Oh, man, I could, s oh, hang on, hmm, <laughs> hang on, did you just say th that, uh, the best villain ever, the totally, totally utilized... Storm King is $15? Oh, be still my beating heart in my chest. Oh man, it's the most important villain. I mean, it's not like he had maybe two paragraphs of lines in that- in the entire movie. Nah, nah. And also, I mean, he did so much. I mean, so much. I mean, good gravy, he might as well just rule a quest right. He does as much as the princesses do. I mean, what else? I'm getting on a ramble. I need to stop.
the joke the joke is passed. Now I'm just getting angry. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's why I don't talk about the horsey movie. I lo I, I lo no, no. St stop it. You will not get me on this path, brain. <laughs> anyway, um so I think that's all the bats. Oh, no, never mind. I missed some rarity bats. Okay. Uh, I felt like there were more over here, but I guess not. I could have sworn there were some apple ones. But maybe not? I guess not. Oh, okay. Alright, how many more do we need? Just two? Okay. I can wait. I can do that. I can do it. I can do it pretty well. So, like, I was half expecting the, uh, holiday, uh, or not update, but the holiday quest to start. It doesn't appear that that's going to happen. That or it was part of the changeling thing and just didn't happen. I still don't know. Like, some people were saying in the comments that it happens afterwards, but I'm not really clear on if it means after that storyline's done or just like after the events of the the thing it just keeps going uh, i really don't know i'm gonna guess the latter but i honestly can't tell you like it's kind of concerning because i was like really looking forward to that because that was actually unique to the game where they're not just parroting the show they're actually like hey let's make it interesting and have a completely different story that's never been seen in this show before. Although maybe it's a thing from season 8 or 9. I don't know. I'm hoping not. Like I feel like that would be a really really nice thing to have in the game is original stories. They don't have to be spectacular but at least then it's like we're not gated off to characters we really like. I mean I guess you could still do that but still Still, I'm going to try and be positive here. But, like, that would be so nice to be able to be like, hey, awesome, now I've got all these, you know, interesting original stories. I mean, like, look at the comic books. The comic books veer off of canon all the time. They make their own canon. Luna has a possum. Where's my Luna possum in this game, huh? Also, that's another thing. We need more comic book characters in this game, because that'd be really cool. I like the comic book characters. Like, seriously, where is Sombra's girlfriend? Like, where is that? I would love that. I mean, I know it's not technically, like, hardcore show canon. But, I mean, come on. Throw us a bone here. That'd be cool. That and, like, Mirror World, Celestia, and Luna. How cool would it be to have that in the game? I'm not sure you have the rights, but I imagine since you're, you know, licensing stuff from Hasbro anyway, you might have them. I honestly don't know. But I'm going with yes. So you should. I'm just saying, that'd be really, really cool. Like, could you imagine having, like, I mean, granted, it's, it's still doing, you know, parroting things from the comic books, but not enough people read the comic books! Like, I don't, I, I guess I don't have concrete numbers on how many people actually read the comic books, but it doesn't feel like enough. It feels like more people need to read them. Because not only is the art fantastic, but good gravy. Some of the stories are actually really, really good. And touch on subjects that the show doesn't. Like, for instance, kind of, what happened to Luna? Like, why does season two Luna look like this? Where'd you go? There you go. Why does she look like that? Well, the comics explain it. I mean, granted, they kind of deflate a little bit of the, uh, you know, reason for turning to Nightmare Moon, de devaluing it as like, uh, oh, hey, you know, she was just possessed by, or influenced, I guess, more or less, by evil moon monster things. But also, they give us Nightmarity, and I'm okay with that. Wait, isn't Nightmarity in this game? I feel like she is. Is she not? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm thinking of something else. I could swear she is. Let's see, uh, changelings, yeah, those things, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I swear I saw her. Maybe I'm hallucinating. That's probably a thing that I do. But I could have sworn I saw Nightmarity in this game. 
Um. Maybe I was wrong. Do 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 do. Herpy do ba do. See, look, they've even got um. This chick. She's actually um. Darn it! What's her name? What's her name? Not Megan McCarthy. She's a writer from the comic books, if my memory's correct. Um, I think they even have, um, darn it, what's his name? Andy Price? Andy Price. Andy Price's name. Andy Price is the name of the artist. That's not this one. This one's different. Katie Cook? Katie Cook. Katie Cook. Katie Cook! I did it. That's Katie Cook's OC. Um, so, like, they have soft things in the, the canon... And look, they have this thing! This thing's not even a thing! Also, Iced Manticore thing! I guess not. I guess Nightmarity isn't in here. I could have sworn she was. But yeah, unless they have Bittersweet, they must have Andy Price's. Andy Price is even in the show! Like, his, his OC is a blue horse with a blue mane and a Batman symbol on his flank with a pencil through it. Um... If my memory's right. And that's wicked awesome. Like, I love, love Andy Price as an artist. He is amazing. And oh my gosh, like, Tony Fleeks does amazing work. Um, who else? Who else? Who does the really, really adorable ponies? Oh, darn it. Well, you know, everyone draws the really adorable ponies. But, I mean, like, someone on the comic team does, like, fantastic work. I consistently love their work. Especially the work on the covers and whatnot. They do really good. Like, they, they're mostly on the micro-series. What? They, what? Which one? Which one? <laughs> Going through my comic books, uh, collection. I own all the comics, by the way. That's, that's how much I love them. I, I own all of them. And you might say, Magnus, that seems a bit excessive. You're darn right it is. I am the definition of whore success. I am the prodigal pony prince of Let's Plays and darn it all if someone will take that title from me. I will fight to the death. We will joust on unicorn horns for that title, and I will proclaim that yes, I am the prodigal pony prince of justice, and all who besmirch my glorious name shall be smited down upon with the force of a thousand celestial suns and moons. I don't know where I went off on that. I am so, so sorry. <laughs> uh... This is why I don't record these things, like, the night they're supposed to go up. Because I'm like, oh, <laughs> I've got one shot at this. Either it's going to be a train wreck, or it's going to be something magical. And I'm honestly not sure at this point if I've either struck an accord between the two of them, or just veered off into a completely different section of the world. I'm going to go with one or the other. But you can't say at least I'm not trying to be entertaining. So I've kind of run out of things to do. <laughs> Cause uh, once again there I've I've beaten everything for the most part at this point. Like there's no major story event. Cause you know, everything switched to Oh hey, we're gonna make it a limited time thing, so Magnus can't do his thing because he, you know, has like responsibilities and like can't play our horsey themed game like non-stop 24 7 like all the time like honestly game loft i really 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 wish you would stop that please like seriously some of us don't have a lot of time on our hands so it'd be just great if you could be maybe a little bit more lenient but i mean you know it's whatever I don't need no horsies. I got all kinds of horsies. I still have to do that little crafty part. I've been feeling crafty lately, and I think I mentioned this on something or another. I'm pretty sure it was on one of these episodes or something. But um, I've got a bucket from the My Little Pony movie, like a, a popcorn bucket. And I wanted to take it, and because I, I got the pops. I got all the pops. I, I remember telling this bit, that I got all the horsey pops. And anyway, 
what I wanted to do was take a little bit of styrofoam and um, kind of paint it to uh, the different colors of the, the ponies and whatnot. I don't know what I'm going to do for Tempest yet. I'm not sure if I want to do her hair color or her like coat color. I think I want to do some, maybe her eye color because that would pop a lot better. Ha, huh, pop, get it? Yeah. <laughs> um, but, because I think she's the, hang on. I think she's, like, the only one that has, like, different colored eyes than black, which is kind of weird. Like, I'm really not sure why. <laughs> I just really, I, like, maybe the black wasn't going to look good in, like, compared to her black coat, I guess. I really don't know. Like, I, I, I honestly don't have answers for that. But, needless to say, it's, it's interesting. Um, so I might do that... Because I'm, I'm just trying... Like, I want to do kind of a display for them. Because I like... I, I, I mean, granted, the Pops aren't my favorite thing in the world. Honestly, I would prefer, like, actual figures. Like, like the Guardians of Harmony figures that we get. You know, like the, the really freaking awesome one that comes out next year. That's Starlight and... Or not Starlight, but Twilight. See? That's, that's the problem with all these horses. They all have the same name, basically. But, like, uh, Twilight and uh, Shadow dueling it out with, with like epic magical energies like splashing up against him it's really freaking cool but yeah that doesn't come out until next year and so now i have to wait for that and i'm like great now i have to make even more room on my already crowded shelves do you know how hard this is hasbro do you do you even care how hard it is to display all this horse you don't do you you just you're just like hey just get that guy more horse. He needs more horse. Because they're also coming out with these adorable little plushy keychains. Now, I'm not a big, like, plushy keychain guy. I'm like, you know, if I put that on anything other than, like, a shelf, it's going to get dirty and disgusting. And more often than not, I don't like the way the mains are. They just don't look good. But these are freaking adorable. They're, like, little anime chibi little... Like, you know those you know those little pictures of little pony poofs? Little... little blob things little pony slimes i guess lack of a better term i'm gonna call them pony slimes because they make me think of dragon quest but like those things just imagine that thing in a keychain form like i want that as like a vinyl figure funko why don't you get on that like seriously that'd be really cool also another uh studios making um might be making mlp figures i think it's uh oh darn it studio four it's some statuette company and i love their work Four figures? Something... I'll, I'll probably Google it, maybe, if I have time. But, um... They, they, they do really, really good stuff. Like, they re released an Okami bust, or an, or an Amaterasu. Amaterasu? Amaterasu? That's, that's how you say it. Amaterasu. Amaterasu bust, and it, like, lights up and stuff, and I'm like... Guys. Like, could you maybe, um... Please give me horsey busts? Because that would be fabulous. Like... Oh my gosh, could you imagine, like, having them with their, like, Element of Harmony necklaces and tiara and stuff like that, and they light up? Like, the gemstones light up? Like, could you imagine how cool that'd be? Give it to me now. Please, someone make it. Like, why hasn't that been a thing? I don't think I've seen anything like that fan made or otherwise. Like, why? I've also got an idea, speaking of busts, Again, I'm I'm feeling crafty, so I want to, like, do these things, and I'm actually getting the stuff to do said things, so prepare for trouble, I guess? Or a mess. Probably a mess. But, um, the, uh, okay. Well, okay, I, I won't spoil it, because, you know what? No, I'm gonna spoil it! Screw all of you. Okay, so, fine, um... For those of you that don't know, since the, the Mile Pony movie just released digitally, I will not... I will put up a big old asterisk right here. Spoiler warning ahead. So that way people can mute me for like the next minute. Cool? We good? Good. Here he goes. Okay, so you know how in the movie at the, at the very end the Storm King turns to stone. I want to take the Guardians of Harmony figure that Hasbro released and paint that in stone. 
but not just just stone, you know, because that's lazy. I want to take the lightning, the acrylic, uh, I, I think it's acrylic, well, not acrylic, like plastic, it's more plastic, um, but the see-through translucent plastic that's like lightning around him, and I want to make that glow in the dark. And I've got fluorescent paint that's light, that's the exact color I need it to be. It's like this nice, like, almost like a neon, like, okay, okay, for, for terms of fallout. Um, Nuka-Cola, you know how Nuka-Cola looks? The blue, the light blue of that, it's that color. Um, because I, I was also going to make some Nuka, some, uh, uh, sparkle quantums or whatever, they, whatever, whatever they are. You know what I mean. But I was, I was going to do that, and I was like, cool, awesome, I could do that. But I got enough paint left over, maybe after that project, to make, like, this really cool, like, glow-in-the-dark statue of the, you know, movie's best villain. So, yeah, that that's what I want to do. Also, okay, for those of you that have unmuted me, I'm pretty sure it's, like, not less than, a, I'm pretty sure we're less than a minute, but I don't care. So just unmute me, like, I'll put, like, a little texty thing to say unmute me now, please. Anyway. And then, for, for one thing that I wanted to do but didn't get around to doing this year, so I might do it next year. Or I might just do it randomly just because I can. Um, but I want to make a Velvet Remedy Christmas tree. I actually had the idea skimped up on, like, everything I needed. I had a list. Got all the, like, had everything planned out. But then, unfortunately, I just ran out of money because, you know, Christmas is a thing. Also, sorry for the lack of content. Again, it's the week before Christmas and I just don't have, like, any time at all because I'm, like, trying to prepare for Christmas. Sorry, guys. Life happens. But, anyway, like, even the, even the Pony Prodigal Prince of Let's Plays has to take, like, a day to, like, do Christmas stuff. I'm not actually celebrating Christmas to this week. I'm, I'm just getting prepared. But, yeah, no. Anyway, um, so what I had in mind was a white Christmas tree with um, color-changing LEDs because I couldn't find, like, the exact color of Velvet's magical aura. And so I was trying to figure out in my head what to do for that. And I was just like, well, you know what I could do? I could get, like, smart lights, like, um... I found these smart Christmas tree lights that let you change the color of the LEDs with your phone. And I was like, awesome, I can actually use those for the little pip tree I also wanted to do. So, that's fine, because I, I was, uh, spoiler alert, I want to do a little pip tree. I want to do all the follow Equestria trees, okay? Just, just let me have this, alright? I'm probably sure that, like, none of, like, almost none of you care about follow Equestria because you're watching this. But maybe you do, off chance you do. Yeah, I'm doing this, so, yeah. But anyway, um, what I had in mind was uh, just changing the lights to each pony's magical aura. Except for Calamity. I'm still having trouble figuring out what to do with Calamity. Because he doesn't have a magical aura. I could try and do, like, white Christmas lights to symbolize the Dashites. But that's just kind of bleh. Like, that's boring and standard. Maybe I could do his eye color. That would be interesting. What is Calamity's eye color? Green? Is it green or gray? I can't remember. Anyway, um, I also needed a Desperado hat for that, but uh, we'll get to that later. Because again, have to get the Velvet Remedy tree up. Because that one's the actual one I've like thought, put the most thought into, except for the Little Pip tree. I've also put a lot of thought in the Little Pip tree, but I also need a Pip Buck. And not like the Fallout like, special edition one. I, no, I want like an Etsy 3D printed Pip Buck. That, like, looks like an actual pit buck. But, um, anyway, so what I had in mind for this was a white Christmas tree with, um, red and kind of gold. Um, I wasn't sure if I want to go with gold or, like, um, not a yellow, because it looked like mustard ketchup thing and I didn't like that. Um, also that's kind of what I think of when I think of Remedy's hair sometimes. But, um, I was trying to think of, uh, of, like, a a nice elegant thing because you know velvet's very elegant she's the great descendant of rarity and sweetie bell so i was like you know i want to i want to pay tribute to that so i want to make something elegant and interesting and fit the character again i put way more thought in this than probably needs to be done i'm sorry i'm just persnickety 
And so I was thinking, like, do I want to do fairy lights, maybe? Like, maybe fairy lights would give it more of a, you know, elegant veneer or something like, you know, some other word that means pretty that I'm, I'm fancy and, and can use. Um, and so I was figuring that out. And while I was figuring that out, I was like, okay, so we want to do that, but what are we going to do for, like, like, I was having a hard time figuring out tinsel. Like, I was like, do I want to do, like, pray lights? Uh, I always call it pyrite in my head. I don't know why. Um, so I have a hard time saying, like, uh, pray light or however you pronounce it on Phoenix's name. Um, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that to represent the Phoenix or if I wanted to, like, just have, like, a few birds, paint them, like, a, a glow-in-the-dark kind of green uh, paint and uh, have them as ornaments as well, kind of intermittent in that. Um... I was also trying to figure out what I wanted to do for her uh, Fluttershy stuff. Like, I wasn't sure how I'd want to do, like, a med box. Maybe um, have, like, med boxes as presents. That'd be interesting. Um, see, I'm, I'm already form I'm, I'm formulating more. This is happening. It's going to happen. I've put too much thought in this, okay? I don't care if it's not going to be Christmas by the time it's done. It's going to happen. Anyway, um, and so I was thinking that. But the coup de Ta, could it cut to the the grand enchilada on the top of the tree is going to be um I'm going to get foam and like the the foam you can cut and I'm going to make like a 2D but like kind of like uh you know you know those puffy stickers I I'm I'm horrible at explaining things okay so sue me but like that except made of foam and different colored foam, and I was going to re recreate her cutie mark. Um, the only issue I was having was trying to figure out how to make a topper for the tree for so it to stand on, because it's going to be like a 2D kind of image, but it's going to be double-sided, so that way no matter how you look, you know, at the tree kind of thing, it's going to be like there, except for if you look at it on the side. Don't look at the side. It's the, it's the bad side. Don't do that. But, like, it's going to look wicked, wicked cool. And, like, I've been feeling crafty lately, so I was like, yes, I can do this. This is going to be cool. It's going to be awesome. And so, yeah, that's that's what I've been... That's how I spend my days, okay? Like, you want, you want more out of me? I'm sorry. Like, I spend way too much time thinking about Fallout and Equestria, and they two just kind of conjoin into this goddess-esque, like, blob. And I'm sorry, okay? I was also trying to figure out Little Pip's design. Like, do I want to do a green Christmas tree? Or, like, do I want to get a tree and paint it gray? Do they have gray trees? I don't know. And what do I do about her mane? Her mane is brown. That is not a thing that, like, would look probably good on a Christmas tree. I don't even know if they have brown orbs. Like... Do that? Is that even a thing? Uh, I'm thinking way too much into this. Like, now I'm trying to think, like, what would I put on her- What ornaments would I put on Little Pip's tree? Also, what am I gonna do about, like, Velvet's shotgun? Also, I've- I've been thinking, like, I've got- I've picked out the box, okay? So, getting back to the Velvet Remedy tree, I've picked out the boxes, like the med kit boxes. I found actual med kit boxes that look darn near close. Like, as close as I'm going to probably find without going on Etsy, because i that's cheating, you know. But, um, as close as I could find two actual Fallout 3-esque, um, med kits. Because the Fallout 4 ones are just recolored, um... Uh, drug boxes at this point. Yeah. But, um, what I found was I found one. The only issue I'm having is trying to figure out how I'm going to design them because, like, taking taking a look at the actual Fallout Equestria designs, they're yellow with, um, the, cutie, the Fluttershy's cutie mark emblazoned on. I can't, I can't remember if it's on behind the cross or in front of, off the top of my head. But I, th I think it's the latter. But uh, I was trying to figure that out and how I was going to do that. Um, if I was going to use spray paint or actually paint them by hand, I'm not sure. I have to go to an art supply store. I spent so much money on books, I can't go to the art supply store. But also, I got so many good books. Why am I still going on about this? What is wrong with me? Oh... <laughs> uh. This is why I don't do things. <laughs> I spend too much time, like, thinking, like, oh, man, if I plan this all out, it'll be perfect, and nothing goes to plan because everything messes up. 
Anyway, uh, so so that I, I I think we're done. I think we're I think you've all had enough. <laughs> I think you've all had enough of a crazy madman's rambles for one day. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a fantastic creative day. If you have creative project of your own, uh, creative projects, sorry, of your own, then feel free to join my Discord and tell me about them. Because I love seeing other people's, like, creative ideas and stuff. That's always fun. Even if it's not necessarily artsy, it could be writing, it could be fan art you're doing, not necessarily of me, it could be of the show or anything you love, you know, just, hey, I love looking at other people's cool stuff, because seeing people way more talented than I is what keeps me awake at night in the ever-fleeting attempts at, uh, Finding a purpose in life and not thinking about things. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a fantastic day. I am Ultramag64, your prodigal pony prince of Let's Play. And happy gaming. If you want to add me on Gameloft's sick, cool, friends list thing, then my code is 0145. That's 0145. And if you haven't downloaded the Modern Pony game from Gameloft yet, then there is a link in the description down below for the iOS and Android versions. But... Anyway, guys, I'll catch you on the flip side with more crazy content. Very, very crazy content, apparently, in the future. Bye-bye.